Hey everyone, it's Andrea. Uh, for today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about sheep shearing because we have started. We kind of are getting um, a hot week this week. I think yesterday was about 23 um, and later this week we're getting up to close to 27. So that's pretty warm. And we started by shearing Gladys yesterday. We got about half of her done um, and we're continuing to work on the other sheep and obviously finishing her first, but just making sure that she's at least comfortable. We started with her because um, that extra weight of the wool, that coming off, I think would be really helpful for her joints. She has really bad arthritis in her front right leg. So the extra weight of that wool coming off, I think is going to be really helpful for her. And also she overheats pretty easily. So we started with her, we'll probably do Abraham next. So I wanted to show you how we do the shearing and some of the tools we use and some commonly asked questions. So here's the main tool that we use, our electric clippers, and you can probably see they're pretty dirty right now. I'm gonna clean them before we use them next. So this is all the lanolin from Gladys's wool from yesterday. So that's that will get cleaned up before we use it next. And we always have an extra set of blades ready to go. If the first set gets dull, then we can keep going with the shearing. And we also use some hand shears around more delicate areas and we also use scissors um, to do some fine details. One question we get asked a lot when we mention that we're doing the shearing is how often do we shear the sheep? And it's once a year. And it depends on the weather and the season. Um, we usually end up doing around somewhere between, it's the peacocks, somewhere between mid-May and early June. If it's starting to get really warm, then we wanna shear them sooner so they don't overheat. And by the time fall comes, their coat has grown out, the wool has grown out enough on them so that they're comfortable for the winter. So they really only need once a year. Uh, we do do some maintenance in between, like cleaning up their bums and different areas to make it sure everybody's clean and comfortable. Another commonly asked question we have about sheep shearing is what do we do with the wool? So we get them all trimmed up. Um, we actually left Gladys's wool in the pig stall yesterday, the stall that we were trimming her in and the pigs slept in it last night, which was really cute. And then that all just gets taken to the compost pile. So wild birds will grab it from there to use for their nests and otherwise it just gets composted. And we flip the compost pile a few times per year and that way everything just turns back into soil and we use it again in our pastures. Another question that people often ask about the shearing is how long does it take to shear each sheep? Um, that really depends on the individual. It could take, usually the quickest is about an hour. Um, we go pretty slow, we make sure they're comfortable, we give them breaks in between, um, and up to about an hour and a half, um, depending on the sheep. Uh, Gladys was really calm yesterday, so we were able to do her without much stress. And then to do the underside, we usually flip them over, and that requires a few different people. Um, but we make sure they have lots of breaks, and we also give our clippers a break so they can cool down in between and usually about an hour to an hour and a half per sheep. So if anybody has any questions about the sheep shearing, let me know in the comments. I will answer your questions in a Q&A. We will be doing the rest of the sheep soon, so we'll be sharing those pictures and videos. I hope everybody enjoys the rest of your week and I'll see you again on the weekend.